So as you can see today behind me, I have some monkeys in trees in their natural habitat. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to show you some phrases and idioms related to monkeys or using monkeys in them. So let's get started. So first appropriate idiom for today would be to monkey around. So to monkey around is to not be serious about something you are doing. Maybe you are getting distracted or being too playful. For example, students in a class are meant to participate and study hard, but maybe they are being naughty and throwing things around the room. The teacher might say that they are monkeying around. Next one is monkey business. So monkey business is mischief. If I, some, if I see some kids doing something naughty outside, maybe they are playing around with my car. I could say there is some monkey business going on. If I suspect them of being mischievous and doing something a little bit not right. Another common expression that's used for people copying other people without giving it much thought is monkey see, monkey do. So if you see someone copying your work or doing what you are doing, maybe it could be either a good thing or a bad thing. You could say monkey see, monkey do. It's like monkey see, monkey do. Next monkey phrase I have for you today is the monkey on your back. So if you have a monkey on your back, it's likely to be a problem. So when we say I need to get rid of the monkey on my back, it means I need to get rid of a very annoying problem that is usually hard to get rid of. For example, if I am meant to be working today, but my house has no electricity or the electricity keeps coming and going, this is a monkey on my back. It is a hard problem to fix, but I need to get rid of it. Another expression used to describe a person is cheeky monkey. So if you describe a person as being a cheeky monkey, it usually means this person is very playful and doesn't take life too seriously. For example, if you are in a serious setting and your friend randomly starts dancing in the middle of the room, you could describe him as being a cheeky monkey. Now, another one to describe a more negative thing, usually when you are making a fool out of someone or if someone has made you to feel like a fool or made you look like a fool, this could be called to make a monkey out of someone. So for example, if I give an answer in the classroom and maybe I am wrong and another student makes a fool out of me, maybe embarrasses me, I could say he has made a monkey out of me. It's usually not a nice thing to do. Now generally when we are talking about monkeys related to idioms and phrases, keep in mind monkeys are usually seen as funny animals, mischievous animals, very playful, and sometimes as animals that take life not too seriously. Now, last idiom I'm going to give you for today is monkey's uncle. It sounds very funny and usually the meaning is pretty funny. Usually, if you are surprised by something or if you are anticipating, so expecting to be surprised by something, you could say, I'll be a monkey's uncle if that happens. So for example, ironically, if a monkey suddenly jumps on my back right now in front of the camera, I'll be a monkey's uncle because I don't expect it to happen right now. But if it happens, I will be very surprised. So I'll be a monkey's uncle. Thank you for listening to me today and see you next time.